Hey, uh, this Jackie Browse. Good afternoon. Yeah. Dunlap is here to ride you straight on through into the evening hours. What? I'm pretending I have the afternoon shift at a classic rock station. What? You know this guy, his name's Steve Miller, and he's hit the Joker. Joker? Or maybe it's a two for Tuesday, and up that was take the money and run. And up next, you know this man, Steve Miller, and I'd, he's hit the Joker. I'd rather play music and sit here and talk. I would. I don't know if I want to hear them songs, but. What would you play first? First oh, song. I don't know. We're changing formats. We're going all music, Jackie Brawls. What are you going to play first to usher in this new era? Well, I think a little little Jimmy Dickens, take a tighter and wait. That's a good one. Let's start off with that, yeah. And followed up by... Well, what's that song, Billy Jack song? What, what? Ten Soldier. Remember Bill Jack? That's a good one-two punch. He's dead. Yeah, he died not too long ago. Two he... Titans dead. Little Jimmy Dickens, Billy Jack, both dead. Yeah. Are all your songs by dead people? Probably. My, I don't. I didn't think about. I didn't plan it that way, but it might turn out that way. Barbara Mandrell's still living, as far as I know. Yeah, as far as I know, she Well, is. then, no, then, no. So is that number three, Barbara Mandrell? Yep, sleeping single little double bed. Double, double bed. That's pretty good. Just to recap, we're starting off, little Jimmy Dickens, take an old cold tater and wait. Yeah. Number two, 110 Soldier by... Uh, I don't know whoever... It's Coven, she, right? I think it's Coven. I can't remember the name, but I know the theme song, Billy Jack, yeah. And then... Number three. Sleeping shingle in a double bed by Mandrell. Mandrell. Yeah. And coming right on the heels of that, number four, your number four pick right. for this all music edition, this playlist, the Jackie Brawls playlist. I George Jones Love Bug. So somebody get on Spotify and make this up. That's a good take a this just Cold songs Taylor off the top of my head. I ain't playing this out. Just songs I like, you know. 110 Soldier. Yeah. Sleeping Single with a Double Bad. That's Bob Mandrell, Miss Mandrell, yeah. Love Bug. George Jones. Yeah. You don't, I know you like Billy Joel because you had that tape. Somebody oh, Uptown Girls. Uptown Girls. Yeah, put that on there. The Uptown Girls. That used to, I thought I'd throw that tape in the trash, but no, it stayed in there. And it still it, played good. Well, not you know, for a while it got where well, it sound warped or whatever. But I still enjoy the song, you know, when it get what do you call it wobbly. If a song that's a, the a test of a good song, if it can still get you going, get your blood pumping. Well, tape player, it didn't work good as it used to because you'd back there, you know, it's got grease, everything else on it back there in the in the in the kitchen, and they give me that. I got that for Christmas somehow. And it wound up in there, and I like Uptown Girl. Wouldn't never thought I'd listen to it, but after so many years, that thing take players gets all grease everything else into it. Don't you know, play you right. Probably get a tape player for like ten dollars. Well, that would still. I'll wait till it. You know. You just said it plays everything all warbly and. Wanting. Well, when it quits playing at all, I'll get it. You know. Why would you wait? Why not enjoy it? You don't have much time Yeah, back there in the kitchen, pots, pans, uh, uh, um, you know, sizzling, skillet, everything. I, yeah, you have to pay close attention to just see how wobbly it is. I mean, it gets wobbly as it goes on, yeah. But, I mean, there's so much. I'm taking people's orders. I'm, you know, uh, giving people change back, taking the money. It, it don't, you know, I just hear enough of it. That's fine. Why even play it at all if you can't hear it over the Well, I can hear it. You know, it's pans. like, oh, yeah, uptown. You know, when you get a break with just a moment to catch a breath, it's, you know, it's fine to have something on the back. You know, if I could sit around and listen to music all day, like some people do, maybe I'd go buy, pay a $10, you know, 
machine. But of course, you know, if I sat around uh, uh, not doing nothing but listening to music, I wouldn't be able to get one to begin with. I got to work all day and have it. It's just nice to have a little comfort. You know, if I was at home want to listen to music all day, fine. But a little wobbly be fine. Still I, good. I will say nothing makes me... I could be anywhere. I could be in Talladega or uh, China, yeah. Germany or France. Yeah. And I can hear the sound of grease sizzling, a customer complaining, yeah. and then faint in the background. I know about complaining. Just, you know. A very wobbly version of keeping the faith. And now I'm instantly transported back to Jackie's Market. It's just that, it's that sizzle, and also just the smells, this, that grease smell. Well, of course it smells. You, you're cooking stuff all day, your first half of the day, anyhow. It all goes together. It's one big package. The smells, the sounds of Jackie's Market. I ought to put together like a little tape, like a, like something to fall asleep to. Like if you have trouble sleeping, you know, you get one of the machines, it's like... You know, Beachside Cabin or Mountain Rain on Tin Roof or Jackie's Market. It would be grease sizzling, customers complaining, wobbly keeping the faith, Jackie squawking about something. Kenny, uh, Kenny, Kenny Rogers, Coward of the County. That should be right after the... Now, hold on. That's a song I just think. If I, you know, like I said, I can't sit around wobbly at night, I'd... Play that play that next. That'd be next on the list. Number one. Yeah. Was take old Cole Taylor yeah, away, Jimmy. Bill Jimmy Dickens, yeah. Number two. Bill Jack song. One shoulder. Soldier. Shoulder, yeah. Number three. Sleeping single on a double Ask bed. Bob and Miss Mandrell. Number four. Love Bug George Jones. And five. Uh, Kenny Rogers. No, Cap- no, Billy oh. Joel. Oh, yeah, I forgot because we talked about that. Yeah, number six. Five Kenny number Rogers. Six, Kenny Rogers. Yeah. Cow- Coward of the County. I did. If I, I know nobody wants me to run no radio, and I wouldn't know, know how to do it unless, you know, put, but if I could, those are the songs I'd play if, you know, if I was on radio, Willie's Roadhouse. I don't think you could play 110 Soldier. That'd go on 70s on 7. Uh-huh. And keeping the faith. Uptown Girl, that'd, that'd be on 80s on 8. You wouldn't want to hear it on, I understand that. You got to keep it. Exceptions to right. the rule, yeah. Now, if there was a channel, if there was a Jackie's Roadhouse, well, I think you could play whatever you want. Well, I think Willie, if he wanted to hear a, a 110 Soldier, I don't see why he can't play it. And if I could, if Willie's Roadhouse, if it's his Roadhouse, he can play whatever he wants. And you know Willie Nelson likes everybody. He sung with uh, rappers and, and all of them. He likes everybody. If you get high enough, you like anything. Well, if that's what that's probably what it is. I don't doubt that. But he uh, he sang with the new Daisy Duke. Him and I said, surely you better than that. Well, you should know better, but no, I guess not. That is a good playlist for Memorial Day. Folks, it's Memorial Day weekend as we're recording this. Uh, we're going to get into our sponsors, but first, we just want to say happy Memorial Day. Yes, happy Memorial Day. Don't forget what it's about. Don't be like on what is twi- Twitter's Obama eating ice cream. A lot of people, not just Obama, think Memorial Day is all about ice cream. It's yeah. not. No, sir. Now, you can enjoy some ice cream, but, you know. That's have some, fine. That's fine. You we eat things. That's okay. But you got to remember, it ain't about going to the uh, Dipper Dan or wherever to get you uh, ice cream. It's Memorial Day. You can go to Dipper Dan's, but first you got to. Have to go by the funeral or wherever else. You always go see your relative, you know, or just putting the, you know, raising the flag in your own yard outside your door. Make sure you take care of that first before you go skipping down the dip of dance. Don't get your ice cream first. Turn dead, go see, go the, you know, and old remember, folks home. F- Memorial Day is for people who give their lives in service of this country. Yep. Not for 
regular veterans who are still alive. Now, you can say, as you should every day, thank you for your service. Yes, that's right. Yeah. But if they come up to you. Expecting like, something. You a know, living veteran. More than that. Yeah. You put them in there. It's your right to put them in their place. In a respectful manner now to anyone in the service. Yeah. You can say. All you got to say is some gave all. Uh, yep, that's and it. And that will shut them down. Yep. So happy Memorial Day, folks. Yep. And uh, ice cream second. Afterward. Yeah, afterward. And um, I guess that's it. Are we done? I get. I got a, covered a lot of I got a sponsor. Oh, right. Because even if it was a real radio show, you still have to have O's. And I got that down, I know. I don't know about the which buttons you hit or whatever to make the song start, but I, I know how to do sponsor. Well, I, mean, I don't think they have sponsors on Wheelie's Roadhouse. It's on the radio, ain't it? You have to pay for it, though. So they don't Man. have sponsors. I think what they have to do is every, when Willie Nelson puts out a new single, they have to play that. So that's why I can't get that on the on the regular radio. I only hear that in the car. That you gotta pay for it. You got somebody's gotta have a subscription to Sirius XM. Well, yeah. you pay for that radio. It ain't uh, like there's that. regular radio. If Willie Nelson he got enough money as it is, Lord knows. I mean, he may have lost some, having to pay some taxes, but he, you know, what he's spending it on. Why is I gotta pay him for a radio station? Well, it's not just him you have to pay. Everybody. Man. Every, all that Howard Stern on there. What? 70s on 7s. I don't want to hear that. At the, Willis Roadhouse comes on in the car. Whose car are you in that's got Sirius XM? When I, my car, you, my truck, I ain't running for a couple of weeks. Had to go get some parts down there. And you know old uh, uh, Melton Sparks. Mm-hmm. Milton Sparks comes in the store all the time. He'd give me a ride to from home. Same air. Oh, ain't well, too Milton far Sparks away. got he got a show off for his brand new car. Get a new car every well, six months. Well, I he said with it. Let's, I know you like this with his Roadhouse. That's all I knew. And it don't come on. Uh, since I got my truck back, it don't come on regular radio. I don't know we can't get in here. I ain't know it had. To, Pay for a radio station. That oh, Milton Sparks pay for anything he wants to, yeah. I guess. All his money. Well, it's his money. He can do what he wants with it. But I ain't going to pay a Willie Nelson or anybody to listen to the radio when I got the radio, comes on for free, and then you do sponsor, do commercial like it's supposed to be. Yeah, but you listen to the radio, you're going to hear a bunch of damn horse shit that sounds like bullshit on the radio. I Stupid don't want to hear any of music. that. Where you going to hear maybe on WSM sometimes. Well, Other than that, that's only because we happen to live in the, the WSM listening area. What if we lived in... How much you got to pay uh, Will Nelson to listen to his radio? I don't know. I think it's 15, 20 bucks. What? For one, I just pay it one time. That's it. No, every month. What? That Bella Look. Joel thing, I know it was a gift to me, but I know damn well you got a big lot for a uh, little over $5. You can listen to your wobbly Billy Joel $5 casingle. Or I can buy a Will Nelson uh, tape. I don't have to pay it. I don't understand it. But if you drive around, if you listen to the radio, regular radio, you're going to hear Luke Bryan on, coming through your speakers, assaulting your eardrums. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can pay $15 a month to Willie Nelson to keep him in good weed, and you can hear I don't. Bridge Washed Out, I Can't Swim and My Baby's on the Other Side that's seven times a day. That right there, that's song number uh, seven or eight, wherever we got up to. Play that What's right that guy's name? I can't think of his name. It's a good song. Bridge washed out. Yeah. Bridge washed out. I can't swim. Jackie. Huh? I thought you were going to bring it on home. I don't know. You won't sing a song is what you... Oh. I thought... Well, I said, bridge washed out. 
I can't, I can't swear. swear. My baby's yeah. on the other side. There we yeah, go. I know the name. I didn't know what you want me to do. I don't know. I that thought guy's you still name. asked me a name. Who sung it? I can't no. remember his name. No. They ben a, Bill something. I can't. They have a lot of songs about uh, bridges that were washed out in the '60s. There's a lot of songs about rivers. Uh, Louisiana one, Mississippi man trying to get across a river. Yeah, back in well, you know, real things. You know, had to do instead of get on a uh, computer. Is that one? It's a uh, one song about a Native American. Yeah. A lot, also a lot of racist songs about Indians. All right, you didn't have to. I'd, but there's one little running bear running through the rain. Yeah, the running bear, and uh, uh, he, can't, he can't get across the river. Just the rivers, they uh, really drunk in Ira Hayes. Could he not get across the river? He couldn't get nowhere. Man, we need, I don't know, I think we've said this before, folks, but if you out there have any contacts at the Willie Nelson radio station, Willie's Roadhouse, this would be a great time to write them and say, hey, Jackie and Dunlap need, Dunlap needs I a I don't job. necessarily want to work for a highfalutin place, but if you let me play songs, say, right, right there, I don't know who sang Bread Washed Out that, and the gate's made right at Right there, I can't, because you got to be able to think fast, know who sings what in every song you play on there. I don't, you know, I don't know how to do it. They got a damn computer. You ain't going in this. They're well, gonna... I don't know how to work that neither. There's probably an intern. Um, you just say, hey. I'd rather play music on there than do this. Yes, save my, save my, you know, breath. Warner Mac. There you go. Sung Bridge Washed Out. It wasn't Bill at all. W. William Bill, I don't know. Warner Mac. That's a good song. Yeah, it is a good song. The other song I was thinking of was uh, uh, Running Bear by Johnny Preston. And now is that racist, that one? On the bank of the river stood running bear, young Indian brave. On the other side of the river stood his lovely Indian maid. Little White Dove was her name, such a lovely sight to see. But their tribes fought with each other, so their love could never be. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I... Running bear loved Little White Dove yeah. with a love Big as the sky. Running bear loved a little white, white dove, dove with a love oh, that right couldn't die. Yeah. Really, it's a lot more. Well, okay, so this may not sound that bad, but in the song, there's like a doom, 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 doom. Well, that's war, yeah. That's Indian. Chanting in that's, the which I think that's war drums, which it shouldn't be going on with love, you know, song like that. War drum, don't, don't, don't. That's when. Troubles afoot. He was up to something. He couldn't swim the raging river because the river was too wide. He couldn't reach the little white dove waiting on the other side. In the moonlight, he could see her throwing kisses across the waves. Her little heart was beating faster, waiting for her what? For her little Indian brave. Yeah. Calm, calm people a little, you know. It's always something diminutive. You can take it that way. I don't think it's necessarily meant that way. All this Indian racist stuff. Now, who's a woman in California? They used a computer phone, whatever it was. She did uh, Indian, you know, woo, woo, woo. You know, you ain't supposed to do that no more. She, a white lady, did that mm -hmm. and got in all trouble for right. that. I guess that's all I have to say about it. Basically, just every which way you look, there's still somebody, you know, being racist to Indian. I guess that's what people think. And I don't know if she meant to be. I know I don't mean to be. That Lord knows I've been through enough. I don't need me being uh, upsetting them anymore. Running bear dove in the water. Little white dove did the same. This, yeah. is, where, this is where it gets sad. And they swam out to each other through the swirling stream they came. Yeah. Sexual. As their down. hands touched and their lips met, the raging river pulled them down. Now they'll always be together in their happy hunting ground. 
Well, the dra- they, yeah, the drowned. Yeah. They drowned, yeah. Yeah, that's what you call. Uh, so that may be a little racist. I don't know. I don't know. It's all context. Uh, Indians ain't the only uh, people who, you know. Die. Uh, die, yeah. Also, I mean, a lot of them did a long time ago for reasons they probably shouldn't have, but uh, everybody dies. But Ida Hayes, now, has that one ain't racist, is it? Because he did that to himself. Yeah, whatever happened to personal responsibility? Yeah. He that's he brought that on his own. That, that didn't nobody, you know, uh, pour it down his gullet. But the war, you know, Plus, now that that's reason, real life. Ira Hayes is real life. I know, but the war now going through that was hard on anybody. I know people come back from war, and uh, it's a sad thing. But it ain't have nothing to do with him being an Indian. Someday I'm going to turn on, I'm going to keep subscribing to Willie's Roadhouse until I hear uh, four Raging River Bridge Washed Out songs back to back. Or it could be three Bridge Washed Out River songs and then Ira Hayes. And it's going to happen. I just have to be there to hear it when it does. So I just have to listen nonstop. I ain't going to pay to listen to it. Why are you so mad at Willie Nelson? Well, he got enough... (laughs) How much he make every time he goes put on a show somewhere? And that's to see him live. I understand that. That costs a penny. You know, that's that's a private show, more or less. I understand that. But just to hear him talk on the radio and play songs that ain't even him. I just get to the point where I think people get grady. That sounds like a communist talking. And he welcome to make as much money. He got more money. He's, unless, you know, when he don't pay his taxes, then he ain't being a good American. I say that right now. But, but you know, it ain't his fault. He's on that stuff. Now, I ain't talking bad about Will Nelson. He don't know half of what he's doing. I'm sure there's somebody on there telling him to uh, raise, you know, make him pay to listen to you on the radio. Uh, and he'll just sign whatever because, you know, he's on that stuff. I don't I don't mean to be upset with him personally. He don't know any better. Plus he's up there in age, everything else. But those people running him, you know, greedy as can be, whoever they are. So that's Willie's Roadhouse. Available huh? on Sirius XM in your car, your truck. Cars where I heard it. I don't know. Yeah. Milton Sparks car. Fancy car. Well, it's a nice car. He, he welcome. You know, like, if he wants to pay for it, he can. I ain't going to, though. But you don't just get Willie Nelson's Roadhouse. You also get other, like, six other country stations. The Highway, Outlaw Country, good station. How much does it cost between that and just buying a regular radio? Well, you mean, you get regular radio is free. There you go. But that you can't hear Warner Mac bridge washed out on it on a regular radio. And I, yes, true on a lot of it, you can't. Yeah, you ain't gonna hear uh, Mr. Conway Twitty on regular radio. No, you ain't gonna hear Lefty Frizzell on regular radio. Well, why can't they play good stuff on free radio? Because of the man. Yeah. Because well, it's the same man that's doing that, the same man that's making Willie Nelson charge people to listen to the radio. The same man who you was talking about. They make radio, real radio so bad. You got to pay yeah. to hear good ones. I, I ain't falling for it. So I'll you'll listen, just I, listen to your wobbly Billy I Cole. will till it quits running. Yes, sir. I don't blame you, really. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do a sponsor. Uh, where paper? Hand me a sheet of paper. There's a piece of paper. Anyway, here. I don't know. What are you looking for? Oh, shit. Told me right, show me a stand. And, uh, anyway, um, everybody knows uh, uh, Della Mule Rider. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's in, not what she does and her name, but that was her name before she picked up that. Uh, profession. And last we heard from her, she was 
uh, going around, uh, you know, carriage around the Walmarts, because we know how many how many Walmarts I can't even keep up. It's more than ten at this point, isn't it? So she was she she used to take you on a carriage ride around, around the but she, it was about business. If you was trying to learn how to, you know, she knew in the eighties when that first Walmart went up and. Who managed it for so long? Like the history she, of the history, Walmart's here. Uh, and, yeah, we, you know, as, uh, uh, you know, better business bearer, something like, you know, she'd tell you how all that worked and what the dead right, what the dead wrong. And before you know it, you've gone around Murph Belt uh, two or three times. And God, you know, gone by. I don't know how many Walmarts. It's more than 10 at this point. Just outlines a whole. Uh, town, I think, at this point. But uh, she quit doing that uh, on account she's getting people weren't listening to her stories. Uh, you know, or not stories. It's, just, you know, it's history. It's history. I didn't mean to say stories because it's history. of Because um, they were just getting rides. People had DUIs or different things. Uh, would just get it, get to Wal, you know, just to get to Walmart. And they just wait for her to come by again. Hop back in. And she, you know, they said, I'll be right back. Y'all go off at me. And she come back around. And, they, yeah, she took a while till she got upset. And then they was drinking because it was a bunch of DUIs. And she what they were getting walk, you know, getting bare. And then just riding around a few more times drinking that and then going back in. It's like a party carriage. Right? Well, that's, that wasn't what it was supposed to be. And she wasn't too happy about that. And so she quit uh, doing doing that, and uh, around about this time, now this just me, just I think highly of Miss uh, uh, Mule Rider, and I won't, I you know, I'm sure she don't mind me telling this. I ain't telling any tale out of school or anything, because uh, I know she's doing a lot better, and I'm proud of her, and that's the reason I'm on here trying to help her. This is she still had to pay twenty five dollars, but still, you know, I don't have to take it twenty five dollars, but I'm happy to for her. Now, what she did around this time, they quit, uh, you know, she couldn't do Walmart no more, got mad about that, quit doing it around that time. Oh, uh, now, nah, I don't mean nothing against him. I don't know what for what reasons, but old West Press and her, they was, I guess, a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, or item or something for a little while. For whatever reasons, nothing against him or her. I don't know the specifics, don't want to know the specifics, but they uh, not seeing each other anymore. For whatever reason, don't know. Ain't good or bad, I don't know. But uh, she didn't take that too hard. You know, with that happening around the same time as the Walmart thing, I uh, wasn't too happy about that. And she she herself kind of started, in, you know, inviting what the, you know, the people with the DUIs were doing already. And she wasn't, you know, but you couldn't go that far around town drinking like that. So she was getting just carriage rides around the grog shop and, just, bless her heart, she wasn't in good shape. And I went down there to check on me, uh, check on her, you know, hadn't heard from her, so I wanted to make sure everything's all right. And I knew, knew about all these things, didn't nobody, nobody went, knew where she was. And um, uh, bless her heart, you know, we, we got down on our knees and we, we prayed up the uh, Lord to look in. And she asked me, you know, how do you know what he, what is it you do when you talk about on on this thing? And I said, well, hell, I don't know. And she said, well, what is it? And I said, well, we, you know, we just talk about news or whatever else it is. And she said, well, I can do that. And I said, well, if that's what you want, you know, you anybody can. As far as I know, we ain't charging for this, are we? No. Don't nobody pay us for this. You can no, do whatever no. the hell you want. That's what that's God, what I tell you. God, no. So what she's doing now... You just get the newspaper, whatever newspaper of your choice, because she's not biased. If you won't get on there at the National Review or get on there at the Rolling Stone, well, it don't matter what it is. You hand it up to her, she'll read about it, and then we, you just she listen to her talk about, you know, her opinions on whatever it is. So she'll she and she's just you know it's around the square still. She you know it's safe for her to be in that area, I think. And she's been doing good. 
She ain't touched nothing in, in three or four days. She, best I ever seen her. Uh, she, the proximity of, uh, you know, Wesley Press is a little, uh, you know, it's a little to deal with, but she's being strong. He ain't coming outside to smoke, so just let, you know, if you, if he's tutoring for you right now, just know he ain't going outside to smoke. I know he said he was, but now they, they smoke it. In there with the child, it depends on, you know, if you smoke already, and, you know, it don't make any difference. Take them on down there. But bless your heart, so it's just, uh, it's cares around the square, but it's just called, you know, uh, uh, just news around the square, cares news around the square. And she's, the, you know, go help her out. You're helping me out. You're helping everybody out. And you might learn a thing or two. So go on down there. Oh, yeah, and it says on here, uh, uh, Bluto Mule broke the leg, had to be put down. Now it's another horse named Toby. I guess that's Toby and Second Epiphany, two, two fine horses. Well, I don't know Toby, but I'm sure he's a fine horse. Uh, just an old time to go around the square, but talk about new news. You know, what's happening today? It ain't history. It's just whatever. You know, you won't take uh, for a read in there. So, yeah, yep, that's uh, new news. Cads around the old square. So, so Dilly Mule Rider, who is like 70 years old, who is a, a I don't know if she's up, but she looks older than she is. Kathy Bates type. I don't... Wears a bonnet. Was dating Wesley Press. Went to school with me. May-December relationship. Gross. Any way you think about it. They split up for some reason. One of them wised up, and I don't know which one it was. Wised up? So she... And this was happening at the same time as her carriage around the Walmarts idea was going to hell. Well, it wasn't her fault. It was, you know, people taking advantage of that situation is what it was. She thought about doing like a carriage Uber. Huh? Like a mule Uber. Ubers. I mean, I know her mule is dead now, which is unfortunate. Now, you got two horses now. To be she quite honest, if, if it's two horses, probably go faster than it did. It would, but if you... Second and Pepper always had to, uh, you know, you know, slow, it, slow himself it up, check. keep up, yeah, with the... Uh, you know, Blue Dog the Mule, R.I.P. But if there, you can't go faster. I would imagine with the two horses. But if you're doing a carriage riding woman with a bonnet, you kind of want to be behind a mule. Oh. Kind of completes the picture. So I don't know if that's good or bad. That well, she somebody... ain't got no choice in that either. That's just you know, that's and can I ask nature. if Wesley Press has an alibi? For when Bluto the Mule's leg got broke? Oh, don't start. I don't even know how. Don't even. That's not. You going to get him, the police, talking to him again over something, ain't you? Oh, Just because he's smart, he knows how to break a horse's leg. Wesley Press, back during the Unabomber days, uh. He's, you, that's how it started, too. And you know, that his his sister. I don't know what goes on in there. Leslie Press. Yep, Leslie Press. But I, you doing the same thing is pitiful. She, her, she probably had better reasons because you just being smart on the, on here, saying just trying to be cute. All I'm saying is, sure he knows how to break a mule's leg, probably better than anybody else in town. That's because he's smart. It don't mean. Just because he knows how to uh, break a mule's leg better than any man probably within, an, I'd say, a hundred-mile range. You're building the case against your friend, Wesley Press. Wesley Press. But, but he knows how to do most things better in, than men in that vicinity. Except succeed in life. That's a matter of opinion right there. I guess you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Well, he lives. Here's all I'm saying. I'm dumb. People have said I was dumb since the day I was born. That's true, yeah. 
Wesley Press is supposed to be real smart. He is. Genius. So smart that when the Unabomber stuff was going on, the federal government came down and held him in a hotel room for several days. His sister told them, I don't know what was going on. Obviously, she, she was wrong. He wasn't. He didn't have nothing to do with any of that stuff. But that's how smart he is. Yeah, well, yeah, he's smart. He's just as every bit as smart. As the Unabomber, yes, sir. So he lives in a, a one-bedroom apartment under the courthouse on the square, chain smokes, and hoards newspapers. Well, maybe he's so smart, he knows a lot more about life than you. Maybe I live in my grandmother's basement. Uh-huh. But I had no... We are about equal in life, but no one expected anything out of me. Yeah. Uh-huh. I so, know. I didn't have to deal with the crushing disappointment. Well, he's happy the way he is, evidently, so, sure. so be it outside, I... of, outside of, you know, what's happening in his personal life at the moment. He, I don't know if that was his decision or not. I don't know. I don't want to know. It's not my business. I will tell you that somebody who smokes four packs of cigarettes a day is extremely happy with his life. Well. I don't know why they broke up. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he would have any reason to break Bluto the mule's leg. And then no, cause don't it to you be said down. it again. Don't say that. Just because he knows best how to break Bluto the mule or any mule's leg don't mean he goes and does it. Now he's running his tutoring business inside because he's afraid to go out on the square and be seen by his ex, Kathy I'm Bates, sure and that's girlfriend. temporary. You know how he's things like that are. He's children's lungs. Well, it, like I said, if mom and dad are already smokers and he's trying to do homework there, how's it going to be any difference going down to beneath the square west of press except he's going to learn something? He is doing his uh, mail order learning business, so maybe... Maybe that's how he's spending most of his time. Yeah. And I will say that I heard, I haven't even gotten to my question yet, but I will say that I've heard that Leslie Press, Wesley Press's sister, who had just been working at liquor stores across the country until she got fired, and then she would move on to a new town, a new liquor store, uh, is back in town. Yeah. And has been seen spotted talking to Dilly Mule Rider. They well, seem they, to be they, thick as thieves. They adults, ain't they? And they can talk to whoever they want to. I'm just, it ain't none of your damn business who either one of them talk to. Now, that sounds a little strange. I didn't know she's in town. But maybe she's maybe she come back to warn Dilly Mule I'll Rider. Warn her or what? All I'm saying when we had Wesley Press on here as your And sponsor, you know, Millie... Dilly Mule Rider will talk to anybody till she's blue in the face. That it don't true. matter who it is. It, is it, a stranger walking her up, she probably don't have a clue that they related. Jackie, when you had Wesley Press as a sponsor a couple weeks ago, his teaching tools for good brains and good kids. Yeah. And he had the three rules to smart thinking. Yeah. And number one was if they complained about the smell, they ain't learning well. That's and, what, yeah. And number two was in the time it takes for a smoke break. You should be able to get all problems done, yeah. And then number three was in fertile minds plant a seed that will help you get revenge on your enemies. I don't understand all that. That may I, be what she's warning her about. Well, I don't a know. A third one. Maybe Leslie Press has come back to town to warn everyone. Well, all I know, I trust Wesley Press to treat teach a young and better than myself or most people I know because I don't you know whatever that lesson means it goes over my head or maybe she just can't get hired at any more liquor stores yeah could be anything ain't ain't no reason for us to sit here and speculate on it I have a question though oh so Dilly Mule Rider first of all she got the two horses she should do like a mule uber I said that but that's a good business plan even though it's two horses, just call it Mule Uber. She's doing fine. She shows with- up in the bonnet. She says, where are you going? And she get in there, and she, yeah, and there you go, and you're off. Because I don't know if Uber's picking up in Murfreesboro yet. Get Mule Uber. Mule Uber. <sighs> My question is, 
you can you ask Dilly Mule Rider when she's doing news carriage around the square? Can you just ask her her opinions, or do you have to give her a magazine and let her read she's up on gonna it first? Give, she is going to give you her opinions on whatever you hand her to read. No, you misunderstood. She, if you hand her a Rolling Stone magazine, uh-huh. she going to say, what is this hippie so-and-so? Uh-huh. That's what if she got the sense in her head. So you bring that on yourself, whatever you want her to read. You know, she's going she gonna to tell you what she thinks. Do you? What do you do while she reads it? Do you just sit there in the carriage? Yeah, you just sit there and take, you know, get some fresh air here, some, uh, you know, strong opinions. But but she has to read the thing first. That's what I'm curious about. Like, well, you sh- well, you, you sit can there for you five, can, ten minutes while she reads an article, and then she starts up the carriage, and then she gives you her opinion. Well, it's good to plan ahead. If you know you're going to be doing it later, go ahead and drop it off night before. Oh, I see. Or you yourself can read it to her, and she can just that oh, way. Okay. It could come right back to you. It don't take you know. She oh, okay. ain't, ain't going to necessarily listen to you read the whole thing, but she'll, she'll stop you at some point. Well, if she, if she, you know, got enough information that she needs to put in her two cents. This, I'm understanding a lot now, because the last time I drove through the square, she like zipped past me. I was like, kid, why is she going so fast? Well, probably got the horse. She's got you know, the two horses, horses now, and she's not used to that. Yeah, she is. You know, she, it'll adjust, you know, just like she'll adjust being single. She'll adjust the two horses instead of a horse and a mule. She was flying. Yeah. Second epiphany used to be it was a race, a race horse, horse yeah, years ago. Toby, you know, Toby is the new horse? New horse. Uh, Toby, Miss Toby, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's. I, I don't know anything about it. I just would have read on this paper, and that's, that's about it, so I don't know. Where is Blue Toe buried? I don't know. They may, the authorities may be exhuming that mule. Oh, they don't. You just want to start stuff to start stuff. You put that poor man through enough. So that's Dilly Mule Riders. News carriage around the oh, square. Oh, new news uh, around the old square. New news around the old, old square. New news around the old square um, carriage. It's my sponsor. I know what the name. Is. Yeah, carriage. Yeah, new carriage. New new news carriage around the old square. New news. Carriage. I said it. You don't have to repeat everything I say. New news carriage. My sponsor. Square. Uh, Jackie, I got a sponsor this week. I think I'm really sure you lie. do. Yep. Summertime. Yeah. And the living is miserable. It is hot and sticky and gross. Yeah. It is time to cool down, folks, already. Summertime, summer heat, summer sun blazing down, sunburned skin, blistered, hot, hot. Ow, my feet on this asphalt burning. Where yeah. can I get some relief? How about slick sheets? Slick sheets. Slick Sheets. Uh-huh. Jackie, it's the name of the proprietor and the name of the business. Old Slick Sheets said for years he's been trying to come up with a uh, business that he could name after himself, but he couldn't come up with anything that made any sense. Finally, he figured out if you get some sheets of plastic and you wet them down, with a combination, 90% water, 10% canola oil. What? Fun for the kids to slide around, slide down, put them sheets of plastic up on top of a hill, let the kids slide down, get all wet, cool off, summer relief, sweet, sweet summer relief down at Slick Sheets. Slick Fun sheets. for the kids. Slick Sheets. Slick Sheets. You know Slick. You know about Slick slick Sheets that works over at Kroger? Not anymore. He opened up Slick Sheets. I didn't know nothing about no business. He was only working at Kroger till he could. He's been saving up money all this time. Work in a a, a butcher, but meat meat. He worked in the meat department. Old Slick Sheets worked in the meat department. He ain't working there no more. No. Well, if you said, "Hey, how's it going, Slick?" He said, "Look, I am just working here." 
until I figure out a business I can name after myself. My name is Slick Sheets. I never did say anything like that. I just asked for whatever, you know, what's fresh at, you know, what he just put yeah, out there. Yeah, what's a good the ground name, Slick? Yeah, that's about all I, because I, mean, I didn't know him personally, why else would I talk to him about anything else? I, just, I was down at Slick Sheets' his business, which is named after the man Slick Sheets. And, I know, uh, right people right still there. come up to him saying, what's a good meat, Slick? He says, I don't know. You're going to have to go down to Kroger. Ask Roger. I don't work there anymore. Well, I'm going to miss him. He always gave you a good cut and let you know he... He worked there for 30 years, saving yeah. up money all this time. Well. Yeah. And really, all he did was rent a hill and put some plastic down. So he's still loaded. It doesn't matter much. Uh, he saved so much money. He's he's set for life. Well, good for him. Man. And he's got his own business. So, Hell, uh, I didn't know that. Sheets. Good for him. It's like slip and slide something. It's for like children. a slip and slide. I right? see. All right. And it's yeah. for kids. So bring the kids down. And this is how uh, generous he is. Uh, moms, it's for you too. So you come on down to the slick sheets and you go down it twice real slow. Uh. And then the kids go. Free. Right. Free. Moms, ride slick sheets twice. Once, twice, second time slower. What? And then your kids go for free. Well, I'm, you know, a lot of mothers need to get the kids out. That's a good deal, I guess. I don't, you Sounds know. Sounds like a lot of mothers need to slide down. The slick sheets hill to get their kids a free ride. Well, if that's I guess summertime gets hot, and you need to give kids something to do. Good for good for him. Good for slick. Yeah, good for Mister Sheets. Yeah, yeah. He can adjust the ratio of oil to water in his combination, uh, depending on what the mother requests. Mother requests. So that's Slick Sheets. Moms, come down and slide chest first down the Slick Sheets hill. Give your kids something to do on a hot weekend. Yeah. And you're going to want to talk to Slick Sheets in the back. He likes to interview the mothers. Interview? Just gauge their interest in huh. summer. So, Slick Sheets. That's just off, you know them hills just off the square? Yeah, I know. We, the the hills have been there for you to go sledding down wintertime. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. hills off the square. Those three hills. Uh, he rented one of them. One of them is now Slick Sheets Hill. Wow. Well, he rented one of them hills, and he put some plastic on it and wet it down with water and oil, and he's encouraging mothers to slide down it, and then he'll let their kids ride it for free. I don't know how you're going to make any money that way. I don't even good. think money's the point of it anymore. Well. So good for him. I don't know if that's a business or not, but yeah. whatever. If it, I don't know. know what it is exactly, but it's uh, it's up and running just in time for summer. Slick sheets. Yeah. Hey, look at there. You see him? Well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old-timey country down-home Red State Update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jackie's Market in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. Hey, it's Jackie Balls. Everybody, welcome. My name is Dunlap. This is my podcast. This is my Little sidekick Jackie. I ain't no sidekick. I Jackie B. You think whatever you want to, but. Jackie B. Uh. Have you been watching that, uh, that television program? Uh, what is the name of it? Something like 19 Kids, uh. 19 Kids and Counting. 19, 19 Kids and Counting. 19 of them. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Lord no. help us. I, I didn't, it's pitiful. It's what, Seventh Heaven is what it was, right? You're thinking of Eight is Enough, I believe. Eight is Enough. Seventh Heaven is pitiful, because that man w- watched it for years. Good uh, 
Good Family Show, Seventh Heaven. Mm-hmm. And that man on it uh, showed his thing or touched something pitiful. Dick Van Patten is who we're talking about, right? If that's who was on Seventh Heaven, then yeah. Nope. But- had to adjust my microphone. Nope. I guess every okay. Let's let's think about the TV shows that had a bunch of kids. Seventh Heaven didn't have a bunch of kids, but it had had enough of them. Had enough. One girl left show. It went off, and everybody said she was doing something bad. The one girl went off a show, and I don't know if she's naked or something or something like that. Bikini, whatever. You're and thinking I, of the Cosby show. No. I'm thinking a seventh heaven is on the man on the show, the daddy, turns out was showing his thing or the doing Cosby a show. show. I ain't talking about the Cosby show. I'm talking about seventh heaven. Let's just not make any more family shows. Because they all lead to something horrible. Let's have shows with lots of killing and hitting and sex. Hey. And then everybody gets it out on the screen and we get to enjoy looking at it. Instead of like, let's learn a lesson and here's, this is going to happen. Everybody's going to feel good and, and look how good and everybody is. And then somebody was touching and here it comes I up don't, in you and gross. I don't want to hear about it. It's pitiful, yeah. I don't think all family shows good. Name show. one that's still good. Uh, 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 Michael Landon. Yeah, he's still good. He's good. Wait. But that's a long time ago. It ain't been a. Bonanza? Any Bonanza scandals? Not to know of. No I Bonanza scandals. I don't scandals. want to hear it anytime soon either, you know. Dan Blocker never. Okay, Bonanza scandals. Then what about Little House on the Prairie? Now, I, everybody come out of that pretty good. I think so, for the most part. And then Angel, him and Victor That's French. what I was talking about, that show. Yeah, but all of them, now that you mention it, it's good. He did a bunch of good shows. Victor highway to heaven. Highway to highway heaven. To heaven and right. Victor French. But that's not seventh heaven. Seventh heaven is a, I don't know all the names on it. It was a family. He was a preacher or pastor, preacher, whatever. I don't know what religion it was. Turns out anyway, in real life, he's showing his thing or something. Yeah, pitiful. Star Trek. Why? Isn't he in Star Trek? Star Trek? The first Star Trek? Oh, he was in the movie Star Trek. You right. You right about that. That's him. He used to be on some other show that had jumping monkeys on it. Something in the jumping monkeys. Years and years ago. It's full seventh heaven right around the time of old Star Trek movie. That sounds like a good show, Jumping Monkeys. I don't, I'm not familiar with it. What happened on that? I show? know it didn't last long. This is years and years ago. Something in the look on the computer. What's his name? I that's, don't know. I don't tell me. I don't want to dignify his name if he's touching his name. Stuff. Is I don't want to hear his name. I, I'm through with him. I don't want to have nothing to do with him no more. I can't. I'm. I'm really starting to get all these sex offend famous sex offenders. Confused in my mind. Stephen Collins Ow. is who we're talking about. Seventh Heaven, right? Was the show was called Seventh Heaven. See, I, all right then. And what was your jumping monkeys? Uh, hold on, let's see. Tales of the Gold Monkey? That's it right there, jumping monkeys. It's not. I just said it was a gold monkey. Well, on the thing, he said something about jumping or whatever. That's it, though, yeah. And that was the Indiana Jones trip off? Something like that, yeah. It didn't last long, yeah. I always had, see, and that's Seventh Heaven, Highway to Heaven, uh, uh, Indiana Jones rip off, Star Wars rip off, Bonanza on that one. And all along, all he was looking to do was horrible, horrible things. Hey, pitiful. Hey, Built you a don't... career of ripping off. Hollywood. Yeah. 
and just to subsidize his horrible, horrible. Now, that's an old one. You talk about the new one. New one. New one, and he was touching the showing and stuff, too. Uh, he was a, he was a uh, 19 kids and counting. This is the Duggar family from Arkansas. Yeah. They have 19 kids, and apparently, are they still counting? I would hope not. Could they quit now? I have never watched this television program. I don't, I hadn't either. I understand it to be very popular because I've seen their pictures uh, come up in my Facebook feed a lot from people who go to church more than twice a week. They will usually post pictures of them and say, look what these two Duggars have done with their casserole recipes or whatever. Yeah. So I knew that there was something. I may not have known about these Duggars, but I knew that they were I a seen force. pictures. I know I'd seen pictures for in the paper, something even before now. I'm not talking about the region and the now, but I'd, you know, I'd be like, who the hell are all them kids, you know? Yeah, I remember them start showing up just on, like, morning shows, yeah. Oprah, whatever, like, well, not Lord, on Oprah. look at these kids. They didn't show up right, on they Oprah. They didn't make it on the Oprah. No, they sure didn't. That's how all this mess evidently got started. And leave it to Oprah to put a foot down. Uh, Lord knows Oprah don't like behavior like that. So She would be a good, I don't know if she's figured out how she wants to spend the rest of her, her days. But I would just like her going around solving mysteries. Either real life mysteries like serial or fake mysteries like Murder, She Wrote. Let Oprah, She'd be good on that. Uh, if they did just redo Murder, She Wrote, they let her play. As you know, people always complaining. I heard somebody in here saying something racist about the comic book movie and said, now nah, he's black. You should be white. Now nah, he's black. Whatever one that is. And and that's the way they things are now. And I, ain't got necessarily, I ain't got no problem with it. Now, Oprah be fine. Plate. The other one's too old anyway. Why don't, don't we just have color. Oprah instead of portraying Jessica Fletcher? Why doesn't she just play herself? Oprah Winfrey. Why not? Why, she could pull that off if anybody could. I mean, sure, you just put her name on anything and then people going to watch it. I wouldn't want anyone else to play Oprah Winfrey when Oprah's just sitting there That's waiting the point, to play yeah, it herself. When, just imagine it, the other way around. You try to replace Oprah with a white lady. I ain't have, even have none of it. Let alone everybody else mad myself. No, sure. Oprah's Oprah. So Oprah moves into Cabot Cove, whatever that town was, and she's just going to sit there and spend the rest of her life writing murder mysteries. And solving crimes on top. Solving crimes. Tom's, People yeah. keep coming to her and say, hey, can you help us out? We have a problem. Uh, somebody was murdered, and we don't know who did it. And Oprah can say, well, I have a, a, literally a billion dollars, so, yeah. and I got time, so let me get to work. As soon as I solve crime, I give you all cars. The survive what the family of whoever was murdered, provided they were not involved well, in with the murder. The, she ain't gonna give no murder a car. She exactly. She ain't gonna let nobody that touched a show or whatever on her show unless it's somebody. Would she ever had somebody like that on the show? That murdered somebody? Not murdered somebody, but touched, did something oh, bad like it. I didn't. She uh, talked to Bill Cosby at some time or another, didn't she? She right, didn't know any better. She post, didn't know any better. Right. Michael Jackson's been on there, too. Has he? She was, went to his house, uh, one or the oh, other. right, yeah. Murder, she oprah we can call it. Yeah. I'd, I'd watch that. I wouldn't mind watching that at all. I like murder mystery. I mean, Oprah's no Jim Rockford, but I still watch her uh, solve a crime. The Oprah Files. Yeah. Starts off somebody calling her, Gail, on the answering machine. Oprah trying to... That's her friend. Her yeah. friend. Yeah. Oprah something says something funny. That's Charlie's Angels you're thinking of, right? The phone ring in the in the machine zone. We could go zone. that way. We could go the that machine, way. The machine zone, Charlie's Angel, at the beginning of it, it goes beep, and it. 
I'm not here right now. Talk to my angels or something. I can't remember what it said. I think you're mixing up. Rockford did it too. Remember on Rockford. Which was, and then the it was lot impossible of shows. was it, it? No, that wasn't an answer machine. That exploded. That, but there's a lot of shows that answered to start with a telephone. Bob Newhart? Yep. Ring, ring, hello. Remember? Yeah, I'm, yeah. But this show, whatever it was, 19 of 19 them. 19 kids and counting. 19 of them. 14 uh, year old boy. It's all just unpleasant. It's all unpleasant. I, I don't even want to head down this road where we're going, where we're going to make our li- little jokes and make our little japes. I ain't make no joke about it. It's people are. Uh, Everybody got to have an opinion on it, and, and, and so far, what I read, ain't none of them good. Because people, because they was church-going folks or whatever, now the one that did the stuff when he was 14, he was somebody uh, on the what board that said the other people touch little children, right? The Family Research Council. They said gay people. gay activists. Touch the little children, which, uh, you know. Chris, pro, pro, uh, they're not just anti-gay, they're anti-abortion. I think they're anti... Well, that's the gay people are mad because, and you know, we, somebody had been saying that about them, turned out he's the one doing it, but you shouldn't be happy about it. Nobody should be happy about anybody doing anything like that. I'm glad it's not on TV, I'll say that right now. I'm, I'm glad they took it off TV. Huckabee come out supporting him. Well, now he knows him. I reckon they friends all or something. From Arkansas, yeah. Which is well, no he's they religious people, and we know he's a preacher. And they said when we found out about this, we all prayed on it. And I guess Huckabee says I'm found out about it now. Now I'm gonna pray on it. And uh, I don't mind Huckabee when he comes out and he's like, "Let's hold on, everybody. Let's not forget to forgive." That doesn't necessarily bother me. Yeah. It's just when he forgets to say that about other stuff that he gets mad at. But then other things he's like, don't forget to forgive. He don't like that singer. He don't like Beyonce. And I don't know how to say his name, but yes, he don't, he don't like her. But as far as we know, and I, anybody can tell, she never did anything like nobody. You know, but... And, he doesn't like the gay marriage. He doesn't like the... Well, he's not going to listen to the Supreme Court. He's a preacher. He don't like that stuff. That's Preachers tough. don't have to listen to the Supreme Court. That's in the Constitution. Uh, yeah, that's and right. And so if you have a president... There's a preacher. may not have to may be different rules. It may not... The Constitution may not apply to him because he's a preacher. Because if you're a preacher or a church, you the Constitution... It's like you're wearing a raincoat it's sprayed with, with Teflon. Oh. And the Constitution is just barfing all over you. All right. All no. its, its gross Americanness. But guess what? When you take off that raincoat, you're going to be dry and not have a drop of Americanness on you because your preachery. Churchiness protected you from preacher that constitution. Got different rules than a president. Preacher president probably going to have different rules. Preacher yeah. president doesn't have to listen to anybody except one man who's not a man. He's more than that because he's God. He's good Lord in heaven. Yeah. I so guess, if, yeah. if you want a preacher president who's going to listen to the Supreme Court, you might as well get a regular president. Yeah. You wasted your vote. You want a preacher president, he only listens to God. That But he can listen to the Supreme Court when he wants to. If now. it agrees with God or uh, whatever that, voices he's hearing. Well, remember that Hobby Lobby thing. Now, he liked that when the Supreme Court said about uh, what it made the people buy uh, 
a birth control pill. Now, he liked that when I said that part. Right, because that lined up with God or whatever. Now, you right about that. He liked that because that lined up. Now, this situation now that he's been uh, thrown into, that, that that didn't line up with nothing. Somebody touching, touching, they don't line up with nothing as far as I'm concerned. No. Yeah. No, I don't think that's addressed specifically in the, in the Bible. Now, I guess they did. They had, um, I don't know, I haven't delved super deep into this story. Why would anybody? But didn't they have a uh, some sort of guidebook on Well that come from another do? preacher. Another preacher gave them, told them how to raise their kids and I guess said whatever happened, you know, something that happens and don't involve authorities. And that don't make no sense to me. Now I try not to pay attention, but it's on everywhere. Now, the person, this don't make a better sense to me. When I find out he's doing it, and now, let's face it now, 14 years old is too old to be doing it, but not old enough to go to jail. As far it's as a I'm weird day. He has, don't understand it. I don't know what, even if your 14-year-old doesn't grow up to work for an anti-gay lobbying group and you're not on TV preaching hypocrisy every week, I don't know what you're supposed to do in that situation with your 14-year-old. Well, you're supposed to get help. You're get supposed to do help. something, go to the, you know, but now see the reason they in trouble ain't because, I mean, it's a bad thing. They, they co- tried to cover it up and they should have known anybody that's on TV, this going to come out. They should have known that. Let me tell you, the cover-up is always worse than the crime. It is. And always more entertaining. We would have had Nixon for I don't know how many uh, years if he just said, yeah, that Watergate shouldn't have done it. I fucked up. Yep. Well, he wouldn't have said that. Don't say that. He would have on the tape. I fucked well, up. I don't, I, I, fucked don't, up. I don't like him on the tape. I like him on TV. I like him on the tape. On the tape. I He's don't like, like you to Hey. Fuck. Hey, I'm not going to hear you or him say it. I don't know. Won't hear it. No. But he, yeah, if he just had said and he just kept getting worse and worse. Now, see, now that's the case there. That's where Supreme Court, he he was going to be like Huck B. I ain't got to let you know. And and on uh, TV Day, old Wallace on Fox was like, what would you do? You know, look at... Supreme Court, you just never gonna listen to the Supreme Court? And Huckabee's like, eh, when I want to. Well, I mean, like you said, preach president, preach some president. different rules. I don't, I ain't. But some people ain't happy with him now because he's on the side of this family or shouldn't be here. Well, I don't know. But the policeman, this is what I don't really know, the policeman that they uh-huh. took a boy to when he found out he was doing stuff he should not have done, we all agree with that, took him to the police who was supposedly friends with him and the policeman gave him a talking to, don't you do that again. Now, you know what, scare straight, I understand that. And uh, the, that policeman ended up, he had uh, dirty children things on his computer everywhere else. And he's in uh, well, prison right now for that. So he wasn't a good policeman at all. That's not the one to take. No, they took him to the wrong took one. Took him to the wrong one. Cause, and, and, you know, and that could have been the first misstep right there that wound up where we're at. <sighs> Fucking Arkansas, man. Hey, Walter. Am I- Listen. The crime in this case, we said the cover-up is better than the crime. The crime in this case is gross we don't even want to talk about it but the cover-up entertaining to me to think about they're running around like what do we do what do we do and basically it would act like it never happened they're trying to have family meetings the father and the wife and here's the thing trying to coordinate a, a cover-up or trying to do anything horrible happen in your family and you're just like 17 children around crying is hilarious and also when you're on tv like, okay, get, so the cameras are turned off. They're trying to have a family meeting. What are we going to do? Like, can you shut those kids up? It's just amusing to me. Trying to get anything done with uh, being on TV and having that many children. It's like raising Arizona. 
We got them five babies crawling around trying to go down oh, the yeah. stairs. It's their life is like the first, like after the opening credits, after the song in Raising Arizona. That like first five minutes. That's what their life is like. Except they're on TV, and instead of going down the stairs, the babies are molesting each other. All right, enough. Pitiful. ISIS. Which is worse, Jackie? Child molesters are ISIS. All of it. Both of them is bad as far as I'm concerned. ISIS, another one on TV all the time. Put themselves on. T- if There's no difference we are saying between ISIS and the Duggars. I didn't say that. No, sir. I didn't say that. They're I stand behind it. Both. All right, fine. You stand wherever you want to. ISIS is awful in their wedding again. Obama just kicked back a feet up on the. Uh, oh, uh, on the desk. Well, that's... And then uh, sitting, eating ice cream. ISIS winning, him laughing about it. It's probably ISIS cream. Huh? I don't know. And then they over there, they're getting all these cities with all these historic ruins. You know what they're going to do? Get them sledgehammers out again and go to town on it. We told... How long ago was it when we told them how to catch them? You build a museum... And say you got the oldest stuff there is, uh, grand opening, you know, down the street from ISIS. And once they all in there, blow up a building. Because they'll go in there to tear it up. Do you think maybe that's what's happening now? I hope so, but I, I, I know Obama didn't think of that, I'm telling you right now. Maybe he listens to our podcast. Uh, I hope not. Unless he is doing that, which I... If, if it turns around and we somehow saved America from ISIS, that's fine. But I seriously doubt he's paying attention to any of this. So ISIS is winning. Meanwhile, in Congress, yeah. Patriot Act, Rand Paul filibustering it, yeah. Mitch McConnell losing control. Yeah. But see, ISIS right now is winning, and Rand Paul's trying to get rid of all of Bush's uh, protection that Bush did when terrorist. In hindsight, granted, he should have had it, you know, maybe somebody should have thought of it before what happened, but, you know, nobody could have seen that happening. So you think that the Patriot Act, though, Jackie, you are in favor of the Patriot Act. You don't mind the government listening well, in? Well, Bush, the way Bush was doing it, not at all. Now, since Obama coming there and all, uh, what's the Snowdens and all of it, I don't care for it. It's emails, Hillary, oh, no, sir, no. But in theory, if, like, say, Jeb Bush, old Mushface, well, if he gets in. So basically, you like the Patriot Act if George W. Bush is using it. Mainly him, I'd have to come around and get used to uh, Jeb uh, using it. It'd take me a little while, but may, hopefully he'd do a good job with it. I don't know, but I can't say just right out the gate I want him to have all that. But Bush, we know, you know, he nobody after, you know, he set it all up. Didn't have no more tax, did we? Rand Paul just can't can't see that. Oh, Rand Paul can't say nothing. He's up there. Did he eat some candy this time? I didn't watch any of it. I didn't see you seen him stand up and talk. You seen all you need to. We don't need to see him do it for 10, 15 hours. Yeah, first time he did it, popping in that candy, chocolate. He's hungry. He gets hungry. Well, you get hungry and talking. Well, we talked about the Patriot Act. Yeah. We talked about ISIS. Damn, pitiful. We talked about unfortunate acts of child molestation. We talked about uh-huh. my Huckabee. I can't think of anything else horrible to talk about, so maybe we should just wrap it up. And we're done. I think so. I don't want to talk about nothing horrible. If, if, if this was about... Uh, stopping talking about horrible things and sign me up. I'd, do, I'd, I'd probably enjoy doing this more often. We did talk about all these horrible things, but we don't have the only, we don't have a plan to stop child molestation. All right, we don't, don't have a plan to stop 
Mike Huckabee, but we do have a plan to stop ISIS. ISIS, yeah, yeah. So, I think Mike uh, Huckabee had a plan to stop himself when he's saying it's so, you know, my friend. Did, my friend, the child molester. Yeah, that's. I don't care now the circumstances. I don't. I don't know all the particulars. Or anything. It don't matter. He may be best friend. Don't if you're running for president, regardless of circumstances. It even even this even goes for preacher president. You can't come out and say I support my friend the child molester. You just can't do it. It ain't gonna. It, it, it's not gonna. That's not gonna fly in a, a contemporary political climate. Climate. In my I opinion. was wondering if maybe he was already done tired of running for president, and he wanted his TV show back. But if you wanted your TV show back, you still wouldn't say, "My friend, the child molester." No, no. I mean, that's you're gonna be in the same, you know, as far as TV running, being on TV, or because they took him off of TV now, right? They yeah, they they ain't on TV. They ain't on and now. The other show they had, the what the reality shows. The there was child stuff on that one too, molester. Oh, on the other show that the same channel oh, had. Oh, the Honey Boo Boo show. Now, just I don't know if I guess they look at a family mm-hmm. and it's it's it all uh, uh, this is this a family we want to put on TV? Mm-hmm. And then they. Find. They're making the wrong decisions, is what I'm saying. They're making the wrong decisions, as far as I'm concerned. Of course, now, before you find out about all that stuff, everybody likes to watch it, which is a good sign as far as how the country is uh, moving along. I mean, that's one a good sign that we're still in. We hadn't Obama hadn't completely uh, ruined a country. Yeah, they, when you, know, you find out about the child molestation, they take you off. Pretty take quick. it off of air. That's a good thing. Ratings don't go up. No, no. So we're doing all right. I mean, this Memorial Day, after you're done thanking those who gave all. That's right. Make sure you do that. Maybe uh, thank the good Lord above that we are still a nation who, when its TV stars are found to be child molesters, no, the Yankee, right? Not on our TV, not on the United States uh-uh. TV, no sir. No, and even if they were to leave it on, the ratings would go down. People quit watching. Pretty sure. Maybe that first episode, people tune in to see them get arrested or whatever, but after that. That's it, yeah. So I'd say as a nation, we're making progress. Well, as long as we can keep ISIS. Off our shores. I mean, right there, they'll they'll be coming for our museums sooner than you think. If Rand Paul has any say in it, I mean, it's, I'm conflicted. I know ISIS is taking over, and then the Patriot Act with Obama, because Obama, that's right, you know, you can't bring a cell phone into my house. Yeah, you know, he's watching and he's spying on yeah. all of this. But he's yeah. only got two more years, and then we'll have a Republican president again. Well, about time, yeah.